Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation. Um, but essentially, in case you missed it, Senna just had their mobile tactics stream today, uh, covering some of the stuff that are in, in the game um, as well. And, and they revealed a bunch of the a bunch of new information, uh, as well as covered some of the questions that I I was mentioning in my previous videos and whatnot, and in my social media. Um, so there's there's a lot to talk about, a lot to cover. I, I I wrote down like a ton of different stuff that I need to talk about. I mentioned and stuff like that. Um, but essentially, to start off, they are uh, so they have a new stream kind of like series that they have going on on Twitch called uh, Square Enix Mobile Tactics, which is essentially where they're going through each of their games and they kind of have like their own little private stream discussion thing for each of their games on like different days and whatnot um so uh, and on top of like their mobile fridays uh so it, that that's something worth noting so uh we basically are and and they kind of confirmed this too that they're going to basically start having more union cross streams uh more often now they may not always be uh like on the same day same week like type of regular schedule but they'll definitely have more often. That we won't have. Hopefully, we won't have these kind of like silence, like ghosting periods that we kind of had like the last couple months or so. Uh, so that that at the very least was good to hear because I do I do really appreciate um, them taking the time to do these type of streams and stuff because it is uh, a great chance for us as the audience and players and such to actually ask questions like that that was a big thing too the fact they actually took time to answer the questions that i had sent them on top of that we were able to ask during the chat in stream too to me that that was very appreciated appreciative <laughs> and i i cannot thank them enough for taking the time to do that and uh i believe they uh they're gonna be doing stuff like that uh, for future streams as well, which is which, which was nice to know. Uh, but just to cut to the chase, I'm gonna start uh, getting started with a lot of the stuff um, that was worth mentioning that they revealed in today's stream. Um, and this is gonna kind of cover as like a kind of synopsis and whatnot. Uh, I I, I w I've been seeing a bunch of like stuff like through Reddit and stuff like that, and people posting pictures about uh, stuff that they had mentioned, like that they had covered in the stream, but. I also noticed that like a lot of people kind of missed some of the stuff too. So I'm kind of doing, I literally sat there and watched the whole thing again. Uh, it was like an hour long and made sure I wrote down like a, everything, <laughs> like literally everything. All right. So without further ado, let's get started with the announcements. Um, so first of all, and I know a lot of you are curious about this, but they did confirm that moon gems uh, are going to be coming soon. All right. Now, just keep in mind that anything that I say is coming soon is coming soon. As in, like, we don't, we the player base might actually be, ex by saying coming soon, we might think it's coming in, like, next month, maybe a few weeks. Uh, but their coming soon is, like, as in, they have a schedule and it's, like, <laughs> what's well, coming soon i don't know how to describe it all right but at the very least they have moon gems already planned for us coming all right that is at, at the very least something to be aware of um and i'm glad that's to be addressed because realistically we were, we're very we're very behind on moon gems right now uh they also mentioned that there's going to be a maintenance coming soon and there's going to be two of them uh one of them is going to be on the 11th as well as that the other is going to be on the 12th they, I believe they said that on the 11th, 11th one is going to be very short. Due, it's just simply because of daylight saving times, and they, and they, uh, and they need to adjust the the time, the in-game time to the daylight savings and whatnot. And then the 12th is like some other, uh, also somewhat short uh, maintenance as well. They're not going to be ridiculously long eight-hour maintenances, but they're going to be maintenances. Uh, so that's that's something to be aware of. Another thing that they announced too was that. They did confirm that the level cap is coming and that, quote unquote, it's on schedule. All right. It's on the schedule, I should say, is what they said. It's on the schedule. End of quote, whatever, however you want to say it. I'm expect by by hearing that. OK, it's good to know that they, they actually have this plan for us coming. But at the same time, uh, 
when I say they when I say it's on the schedule, I'm expecting that it's gonna come out during anniversary, which is next month in April. If there's any better time, as far as I'm aware, uh, for a level cap to finally be increased and updated and stuff for the global version of the game, it's going to be next month or an anniversary. Uh, now, the next thing that I talk about is also kind of along the same lines, which is story, okay? Like, what's happening to the story updates and quests and blah, blah, blah. Same thing. The story is coming. It's quote-unquote is on the schedule, okay? End of quote. It's coming, but we just don't know how soon it's coming, all right? Uh, they also noticed that there's going to be something of like a out-of-season medal that's going to be announced on Sunday. Now, uh, this is actually pretty interesting. They they mentioned, because there was a, there was like, I, I mean, it was part of my questions. I think it was part of my question. It might have not been. Um, but they had, they were talking about, someone had asked a question in during the stream about uh, previous medals, like not coming out or like coming out weirdly and stuff like that. So... They they basically explained that the that the, that sometimes a large reasons why we don't always get the medals at the same time JP does when it comes to like certain event medals or seasonal medals and whatnot is due to like weird scheduling issues between the JP version and the global version. So uh so like maybe like they'll expect us to get medals fairly soon after jp but then maybe stuff can happen internally that ends up getting delayed so a lot of times we might end up getting like these halloween medals and whatnot at like odd times during the year and such <laughs> so uh that, that they kind of explained that so when they said that something out of season uh will be announced on sunday for a medal my first thought is that we may be at, we may actually get to see the uh santa roxas vap medal on sunday like yeah, we may we may actually get to see it on Sunday. That that is a possibility. It's not confirmed. It's a possibility though. That's like my own speculation as to which metal it might be. Because uh, as of, as of right now, that's the only like remotely out of season I can think of. Because that was a Christmas medal, and Christmas was like three months ago. <laughs> so that's what I'm expecting. They also they also talked about the fact of. Uh, needing reverse metal support and stuff like that because uh, that was uh, that was amongst my list of questions and they did talk about that um, they said that they they are aware of the fact that the game needs more reverse support and that there are that there will be plans in the works for more of those type of metals to come out and such now whether or not that means that now now whether or not uh, there are already some medals coming out fairly soon that are going to be reverse supporting uh, type medals and strategies and stuff like that. Um, that wasn't confirmed. It's just more along the lines of the fact. It's just more along the lines of that, like they're aware of it and they, um, at the very least, they'll plan it out uh, in the future if they haven't already. Okay. Something that's actually that they actually announced that's happening this week. Uh, I'm make I'm recording this on Wednesday. You'll probably end up seeing this tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, so it would actually be tonight. <laughs> You'll see the announcement tonight. Uh, but we will actually be seeing the illustrated K Kingdom Hearts or KH, uh, Riku EX medal coming out tonight, I guess, if you're watching this on Thursday. The announcement for that and that the actual medal will be coming out on Friday this week. Uh, and some things to know about the banner itself is that the banner is a falling price deal. Uh, it comes with three magic mirrors each pull, which is nice. It is a 15 mercy pull too um and there's two very special things about this banner that's different uh that is very important to know and that's the fact that this riku banner actually has double the drop rate compared to nor what the ex drop rates would normally be that's interesting so normally the drop rates for ex medals tends to be like 0 0.56 0 0.6 something like that like percent uh 0.56 percent or a 0.6 percent uh chance of dropping or whatnot so that means that if it's double it's gonna be more along the lines of like a 1.2 ish percent chance of actually dropping uh, i mean it's still not the greatest of odds but it's still i mean it's better than nothing uh and it, the other important piece of information to take away from it is that uh, they did announce that there's going to be a brand new medal within the same Riku EX banner as well um, of some character that we we know about or or that we have, that we like or something like that. I'm kind of curious what this new medal is going to be. 
the last major piece of news that they announced for the stream is that there's going to be a new mechanic coming out fairly soon within like the next week or so uh that will be related to the new riku ex metal okay my first thought about this is that we're finally going to be seeing the trait metals that are already in jp that's the only thing that makes sense at the moment because if you don't know the way the trait metals work in JP is that uh, you get these like certain trait metals that only work specifically towards their uh, represented metal. So that's the only thing I can I, I I can think of as to like what this new mechanic could be. Now, if it ends up being completely different, like I'll be like, whoa, <laughs> complete, completely over my head, like just way out there. Like, I mean, I might not. Well, I mean, depending on what it is, I might complain, but I'm I'm assuming it's trait metals. All right, so that's it in terms of news that they announced for the game. Uh, the, like the uh, like the only extra things I wanted like I uh, I found cool about the stream was the, the with the fact that like uh, uh and, and for those of you that are watching like I I actually s was streaming their stream um that way so I could like give my input as they were revealing information and stuff like that. Uh, I actually started a little bit early too so I could go over uh, the questions and, and response that Glacy and I had uh, over Reddit. Uh, and I don't know, for me it was just really cool and like I, I was kind of surprised and, and thought it was cool that Glacy actually ended up viewing my stream um, in, towards the beginning <laughs> before they got started with their stream. I thought that was funny. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing worth noting is that like she actually mentioned the fact in the stream about uh, me sending her uh, a bunch of the questions that we had uh you know we had put together and stuff like that and, and that i sent her for us uh, i thought that was really cool overall it's just really nice to know that they actually took the time to uh kind of address a ton of this stuff so i'm very happy about that um and i'm glad they told us about that and i, I and i'm happy and i thank you guys if you happen to be watching this for taking the time out your time out of their you know your schedule and your stream and stuff like that to uh, even do that sort of thing but yeah that's it for today guys i just want to give a quick recap over everything that happened in the stream all the good inf pieces of information uh, but other than that that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way to know when i upload a new video um, especially if it's like stuff like this <laughs> as well as if you have a discord uh feel free to go ahead and check out my discord server in the link in the description below uh i have a ton of fun talking guys like literally me and my and people in my discord uh it was weird because it, it was funny because like half the time that i'm on my stream um they're also on the discord and i'm just getting like tons of pings during the stream and stuff like that and like during things like this so like everyone's freaking out i was just like what like it, it, it's fun go ahead if you have a discord check it out um as well as if you want a more direct way to support the channel uh go ahead and feel free and check out my patreon link is also in the description below um, but other than that that's it for today guys my name is brian from kingdom martini cross nation and i will see you guys in the next episode peace